Let me get this lit up here. So we are going to be going over mouths. So this is an open mouth with teeth. So that can be more challenging. So I like to start with this inside line here. So kind of outlining where that mouth is going to be inside wise. Kind of this, this shape. And then I start to add the outside line and shape of everything. And this is just a real easy, simple sketch, just trying to get the, the shape. Next, I am going to, so first, before I add those teeth, I'm going to widen this bottom part of the lip. So I feel like this might be a little bit more open than what I really am seeing. So next, put the teeth in. And just kind of guidelines. So right above, right above the mouth. biggest teeth are going to be those front two teeth. You don't want them to be so big that it's like unrealistic. Then these curve a little bit more. And then also I'm going to start to kind of put in this, I can't remember which tooth that is, but these back teeth as well. And then it just gets darker and darker as I go back. So in this corner, I know that we can't really see anything else. And then I'm going to do the same on this side. Now, if they're turned a little bit, their their teeth, they're not always completely symmetrical. So even looking at the side, these are straight on, but like there might be more of a curve that shows on this side than the others. And then the same, bringing down this tooth. And back teeth. And then putting in that dark that you can no longer really see. So the other thing is you don't have a real thick line. You want to have um, thin lines. Otherwise, the thicker the line, the more it'll look like a gap in the teeth. So just a nice, simple thin line works. This might be a good time to use a blending stick if you have one. Or blending tool it makes it a little bit easier to kind of get into these small pieces for blending and then on the bottom you can't really fully see you know maybe there's a tooth in there but it's shaded for the most part and then we have the lips that will be shaded so we'll just kind of Fill that in. One blend, blend. So with this, I also like to add some of those like lip lines. So if you kind of add them, it'll look more rounded. Using these curved lines. And they will get smaller and harder to see as it is skinnier. see this kind of bends inward and then comes up. So I'm going to use my eraser to kind of create those lines we've talked about without really having a line officially. And then bringing this down.
I'm just trying to get that same kind of shape. A lot of times it's a bit darker on the bottom here. And that too will show that it's kind of rounded. That they're kind of curling in a sense. And then usually lightest towards the front. So we're gonna also fill in a little bit in here. Same here, showing that rounding. But then also, this is not quite looking the way it should. So I'm going to skinny this up. like it's a little thicker towards here. I'm just going to change that shape. And then using your eraser again to kind of whiten those teeth. If there are light spots, you can add those into different spots. Just kind of making dabs. You don't want to go back and forth because that'll create too much of a line but it'll give more of a push and a pull to and some of these are a little bit darker towards the back. definitely recommend using a blending stick for this just to kind of help and if you wanted to have a little bit more of a defined you could you know have these lines and this kind of makes your teeth pop out a little bit more too. Okay. All right. And then however you shape that will kind of shape how your teeth look. So keep that in mind. It looked like I kind of missed a spot, so now I want to fix it up. <laughs> 